Lord have mercy. This may not be popular. It doesn't matter. If, oh my goodness, how do I word this? If you have bills, when we have bills, we pay our bills. It doesn't matter if Christmas is coming up. It doesn't matter whose birthday is coming up. Bills have to be paid. You don't forego your bills to, to buy Christmas presents as it is. You don't forego your bills to buy uh, birthday presents. Um, I mean, if there's an emergency, of course, you know, maybe some kind of emergency. I don't know. But we don't forego our bills. If we have made a, a commitment to pay our bills, we should pay us at, to, to commercial if we, you know, have, com, you know, purchased, um, not purchased, but if we have borrowed money from, you know, for, you know, credit, uh, if you have, you know, outstanding, or, you know, if you have credit uh, debt, if you have personal debt, someone loaned you money out of they you know out of their pocket a, a human being a, a mother a father a sister brother a friend cousin you know neighbor whomever if someone loaned you money trust entrusted you with something and you said that you would be paying them back at a certain time please pay them back make that sacrifice and have some integrity and pay that person back it doesn't matter if Christmas is coming up. Oh, Christmas is coming up. Uh, we moving or uh, we had two birthdays in a row. That's <laughs> just like I tell people because people, <laughs> I heard this maybe 20 years ago. Uh, could be more. But I heard somebody say something about, I can't remember what it was, but they said they be they thought or not thought but in their mentality was that cable was something essential cable or you know take you know entertainment is not essential if you don't have the money to pay uh, a cable bill you should not have a, a cable bill you should not have cable or whatever you call these uh whatever it's called now i don't know if it's even still called cable i'm so old uh, but nonetheless, uh, and, and, you know, I mean, if, if, if having gas, you know, uh, you know, heating your home, that's essential to have, it, especially in the winter time. It's essential to have air conditioning, uh, depending on where you live. It's essential to have air conditioning, depending on where you live and maybe your health and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It, 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 having air conditioning uh, or a air or a window air conditioners are good. Having electricity, of course, that's essential. Having clean running water in the home is essential to have and pay for. Uh, even sometimes insurance, it depends. You know, even not have even having transportation is not essential. You know, having pub, personal uh, uh, personal transportation. Especially when you have public transportation in your in your city or your town, so those having a vehicle, pay a, a note on a car maintenance, it, because you got to think about that. Because a lot of people they run and get an a automobile. You got to think about the, having an automobile. You got to you got to have a note on that car. You got to pay every month. Otherwise, there's something called repossession, repo. Yes. Uh, then there's something called insurance. Most cities you must have. It's a ma it's mandatory to have insurance of some type on the vehicle. Um, so you need that. Then there's maintenance. You have to have. You got to do maintenance on the car. You need oil changes. You need uh, you know brake. You know you need maintenance done on the car. You also uh, uh, need. Uh, to the fuel for the car, fuel you need gas that costs a lot. And right now, gas is like five dollars, uh, in you know, in certain states. I think everybody is around four to five, three to five dollars, or something like that. So, that is a, a major e expense. And then, oil because again, I said oil changes, but in between time, you, you still might want to you maintain your own car, you might 
be putting oil in it, you know, oil, transmission fluid, brake fluid, uh, what's the, the cleaner for the um, windows, window cleaner or whatever. I mean, there's certain, you know, things you need, car washes, because a car wash is good, although you can wash your own car in your own yard or whatever, uh, but a car wash is good. That's part of maintenance, keeping the car looking nice and keeping it clean inside and out is good. But that's still, again, I mean, you got to look at that as expenses because a lot of people, like I said, they, they'll grab, run and get a car, but you got to look count all the costs and, and weigh everything out prior to um, prior to getting that car because again you you borrow money I mean to to you 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 pan a note plus you may have uh, borrowed a money for a down payment from somebody so you gotta be paying that back so though again the transportation is not still not something essential but yeah somebody was saying that they you know they had that they borrowed money from somebody for a cable bill or something that you know this was some long time ago uh i can't even remember where i heard it or who it was but it was quite shocking to me it was quite shocking you know because it's not something that's essential you know nothing that you have to have food you have to purchase that's those are things you need in your house and you know to keep your home running and uh, you know especially if you know you have a family you know and other people you're taking care of or whatever so but to you know but but have some integrity if you're going to borrow money from somebody you know you got to you know because you got to be wise in the first place from the beginning of the year most people they have an uh, account st uh, strictly for a, a, list, a savings account strictly for Christmas, strictly for birthdays, you know, strictly for that. You don't, you might not have to have an account, but you should be putting that money away. Christmas, you know, Christmas comes once a year, you know, it's coming. So we, if you know, it's coming, you have to prepare for it. You already should already be putting something away so that when uh, November or October comes, you can purchase you know, the gifts that you need to purchase, no sweat, because what? You've already saved the money. But but please, dear heart, please, beloved, we have some integrity, some dignity, and wisdom, because that's the principal thing. And in all you're getting, get understanding. You know, don't promise somebody, don't borrow money from someone promising to, to, that you're going to pay it back. And then you don't pay it back. And especially you don't pay it back because of Christmas and birthdays. Because that is very low life. Uh, and in the words, the immortal words of... Um, no, I better not say that. Um, I, better not say, I better not say that. But, you know, and it's... It, it, you don't... It, 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 you don't have... It, 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 you know, you're not a person of integrity. And you're a thief. Because once you sign those papers or you open your mouth to, or you made a promissory note, uh, you, you signed a promissory note of, of any kind, or you opened your mouth to say that you are going to pay back the money that you borrowed from your friend or whoever, that you've, you've made a promise, a commitment, and you are obligated to pay it back. If you don't, you're nothing more than a thief, a common thief. Okay, so but please don't do that. Be you know, don't do that. You already always try to prepare for something. Don't don't leave people hanging. You know, uh, you know, live your life. Live your life the way you, and treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, you don't know how these people are making their money or how they sacrifice. I'm talking about personal person sacrificed in order to. Uh, give you some money that they had, you know what I mean, and they was like, they were expecting it back because you said you were gonna do it, and they, and they believed in your word that you did, they trusted you that you were gonna do it, and as well as commercial credit or uh, you know credit um, cards or and whatever, and or maybe some kind of payday loan or whatever they call these loans now or whatever. 
you know, you used you, you you there used to be something called debtors prison, and and I think of there are countries, and there even still might be states because I think I was reading in one of my law books that there might be still some a state or two or a few that may still have some. No, maybe not the USA, but still, there's debtor debtors prison in other countries, and you go to jail. You are held in prison until you pay that bill. It's even biblical. Uh, it's in the Bible. That's how the the guy who uh, uh who, who got let out uh, because he didn't pay. Was that the truth? Well, let me not go there because now I'm confusing myself. But so there, you know, they they put you in jail, and until you are able to pay, is when you get out. I mean, whole families back in the day, whole families would go to prison because they were not able to pay uh, their debts. D look it up. Do your research. Debtors prison. <laughs> so I'm just encouraging you to have integrity, to pay your bills, to, to have to use wisdom and do the right thing when you want to make purchases. Um, you save for what you want. Save your money up, you know, and if you can't save it, if you don't have the money, you just don't have the, you know, have Christmas. You don't have uh, exchange birthday things. There was a time in our day, I, I still do crafts every now and again. We, we crafted, we made cards or gifts and, you know, our birthdays were very simple, uh, um, you 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 made a birthday cake, or you did dinner. Uh, if you know, maybe just did dinner. My my way of ex the way I did my children, although they did have birthday parties here and there, they didn't always have birthday parties. But they didn't. That wasn't something they expressed. I always we always asked them what did they what do they want for their birthday, and they'll tell us. But the the the, the thing I always did is I make them a dinner, whatever they want. Uh, to eat is what I would make them. Doesn't matter what it is, I'm making that for them uh, for their dinner. So very simple things. Even my my own parents. That's how they did me. I did go shopping. You know, I was you know they take me shopping if I, if that's what I wanted or whatever. Uh, but I didn't I didn't always want and I didn't always get. You know what I mean? But I'm sorry, I'm off track. But the the bottom line is, you could always make something or just postpone it say you know well in we'll we're gonna we, we're having a hard time right now or whatever and in a couple of months or in a couple of weeks down the line we will celebrate your birthday differently but you know it is, you got to be creative but people try to do too much these days if you can't afford it it's okay stop trying to uh i guess live up to with others or uh i don't know don't do that. Don't do that. Because it's a bad thing and we're we have the next generation to 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 look at. They're looking at us. And what we're showing them is not good. That's why they have this microwaved uh mentality where they gotta get it right now, right now, right now, right now. You know, this instant. Uh everything is instant. And it's not so because everybody does not have instant. <laughs> so so anyway, I'm going to leave it there, but I, I just had to jump on here real quick because I was very disturbed by someone saying that birthdays, were back-to-back -back birthdays were coming up and Christmas is coming up and they have, but, the, but say they owe someone money, but they have not paid, but they are trying to do Christmas and birthdays instead of paying off their debts. So anyway, don't forget we have a younger generation and we have a God that we are looking unto who is looking at looking at us. So let's not dip disappoint them or uh, him. And people are looking at us. People who are looking at us who call ourselves Christians, but we have no integrity, no righteousness, no holiness at all. So let's be careful with that. I love you very much. Talk to you later. Bye bye for now.